were standing in the garden of a house that uh, was lived in for many years by the artist Pierre Bonnard. It's right on the banks of the Seine in a little village called Vernonnet, only a few kilometers, about three miles in fact, from Monet's garden at Giverny. The house is called Ma Roulotte, which means my caravan, and Bonnard moved here in 1912. Um, he really kept the house for many years into the 1930s, but in around 1924, he basically moved down to the south of France, but uh, he painted many views of the house and the garden. And looking around, we can see it's a very, very different garden from Monet's garden at Giverny. Bonnard himself called it Mon Jardin Sauvage, my wild garden. And I think it still is probably very much as it was in Bonnard's day. He wasn't a serious horticulturalist or plants person in the way that Monet was. But he and Monet were good friends and they visited each other frequently. Monet would come here and Bonnard would go to Giverny and they would look at each other's paintings. This garden provides a wonderfully um, atmospheric setting in many of Bonnard's paintings. Uh, as we can see, he's not interested in the individual plants in the way that Monet was, but his garden becomes part of a wider continuum of nature through which he expresses a notion he has of man in harmony with nature, a sort of um, modern concept of a, an Arcadia. As you can see that with the works in the exhibition, many of them show a view overlooking the garden, but also the wider landscape. We're looking here right across the valley of the Seine onto the river Seine. And Bonnard very much favored these views from a high viewpoint from the house through a window and frequently from the wooden balcony that we can still see. And I think it's that sort of contrast and that relationship between the, the near garden and the distant view over the River Seine that really appealed to him. <laughs>